But the Daily Mail neighbours in the flats above can't understand how something so incredibly rough could be capable of falling in love, but people in glass houses shouldn't throw rocks. Every city has a secret city hidden underneath, but it is not the trendy underground that the tourists seek. It is that other neighbourhood, the one we dare not speak of, the one that the estate agents do not want you to see. We've just banned begging because they'll just spend it on smack, says the man with the golden handshake who's just bought up all the land. Yeah, drugs are bad. Hi, I'm Andy, the sage. I'm Merlin, the old man who grows younger. Born lippy, the tongue set loose. Speed bumps. <laughs> I must prefer faintly chopped amphetamine. <laughs> As I said, I'm on a certain age and I worry about my health. So I went to doctors and it turns out I've got an aversion to chickpeas from above the equator. <laughs> it's a northern hemisphere. <laughs> I'm John, uh, I do spoken word and other arty things, but I've come to Bon Levy to perform in the Portly Slam. Wordy, it's amazing, it does everything. If you haven't been, come along, it's the only way you'll find out what it's about, and you'll love it. This is one that I love, that I live by, it's heavy. Do it by any means necessary. That means get it done, whatever it takes. Because life can be tough, but lose of the brakes. Celebration, lexicon, vibes. Vibes and vibes and vibes. And vibes and vibes and vibes. <laughs> but the fat cocaine wanker in the penthouse suite hasn't got a gambling problem, no. Well, it's work hard, party harder, be respectful and relax in style. When life gets too much, remember, stars can't shine without darkness. Be happy and make the most of each day. When life gives you lemons, make lemon soup me. In your channel with ya, in your channel call, call, and don't tell us the call down, no, don't tell us the call down, when our futures be snatched from our palms now, from our palms now, and don't tell us the call down, no, don't tell us the call down, when our futures be snatched from our palms um, now. I think poetry nights that just kind of rigidly just have like poetry readings all night and just have that can kind of can be in danger of kind of just p putting out uh, the performances to the same crowd all the time um, and ultimately our target audience is people who've never been to a poetry night or a spoken word night before that's who I think we're always about encouraging uh, local artists uh, people who we'd like to see on who I haven't had on so far is uh, two of my favorite kind of uh, rappers from the northeast called uh, Just Be an H Man sometimes when they collaborate they're just called HB um, and I've seen him come on leaps and bounds and I think together they're kind of one of the most exciting uh, groups in the northeast. We'd also like to see uh, getting King Hippo on, um, who are like sort of uh, pr producing some of the most slick and kind of professional sounding hip hop that's getting audiences outside of the northeast. Uh, he works with Stigger the Dump, um, Legion of Good, um, um, local poets, our favourites in the northeast are people like Scott uh, Tyrrell and uh, Rowan McCabe, uh, Jenny Pascoe, you know the people who I'm always interested in their new material and what they put out um, and, and you really want to kind of support them. Um, also Ellen Moran who's a young up-and-coming poet who uh, just kind of has a natural charisma about her which makes her work kind of very introspective but very humorous. We're very honoured to be part of uh, Linda's Farm Festival based up on the, the kind of scenic Northumbrian coastline just opposite Holy Island. It's a kind of a cultural arts festival where so there's going to be live music, there's going to be DJs, live electronic acts, there's dance on, there's healing areas, there's a conspiracy area, there's, there's a whole host of different kind of ideas um, and sort of chill out spaces um, in a, you know, quite an idyllic little sort of space and really the kind of, you know, prime Northeast festival. I'm really honored to be asked to run like a stage there, which has happened on the Friday. So we're going to take everything that people associate with the Bowl Lippy sort of style of night um, and, and inject that into a, a festival format. I hate patriotism, but always claim to be Scottish when it suits. All right there, man. How's it going? Where do you feel? I'm not one of them. No, 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 not me. 
I may look and breathe and sound like one of these, but I'm one of you. My birth rate so am. I relinquish guilt for genocide. I didn't invade France or bomb Baghdad, aye. Not in my name. I just live in foreign lands. I was pro-independence against leaving the EU because English nationalisms for those who didn't have a clue. I drank iron brew till my teeth fell out, had buckfast wine administered intravenously. I ken that pizza should be crisp, sausage should be square, Mars bar should be fried, and that scallops are served best with Stornoway black pudding. I prefer two haddocks with my chips, with proper chippy sauce for supper. Red dye pakora from its birthplace in Paisley, Cullen skink soup slipped fresh for a Mori Firth. I was at Ferry Glen before the tourists came, wild camped on Loch Lomond's bonny banks, walked over the Five Sisters, chased comets at Callanesh Stones, manoeuvred the minch at Caledonia McBrain, bared my arse aptly at the butt of Lewis, and led the dance and chants of Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. With resurrection sweater heeds getting pure swally to tartan techno. I've never charred my clan with the fervour of an American ancestral fanatic, but I will never ever trust a Campbell. I only wear a kilt on special occasions. I support Partick Thistle to avoid sectarian scuffles. I'm part Ouija, part Chukta, absent without leave, south of the border. I'm default Geordie like a joke with my heed panned in. Please, motherland, let this wane be one of your kin.